King Adrian. Hey, I heard you became friends with Princess May. Okay, we're at your funeral, but okay. Welcome to another episode of the royal family in the last episode of the royal family we had a lot of things happen we had princess amira's birthday party and she turned into a young adult so the party went pretty well up until the end when we found out that king adrian died and i wasn't sure why he died but everyone in the comments had told me that it was because of anger so he was so angry and so enraged that i guess he just died and then while that was happening queen ava she she was having her babies and she had twins so she had a boy and a girl we named them Prince Charles and Princess Bellatrix or Bella for short so that all happened in the last episode so I wasn't planning on this but since King Adrian did pass away we are now going to have his funeral and Princess Naya's coronation ceremony so she can become the Queen of Oasis Spring so we're all gonna do that in this episode and I'm so so excited if you guys saw my last video that I posted I gave Naya a makeover, so now she looks just like a queen. She looks beautiful, and I'm so, so excited. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So we are starting out at the royal family of Oasis Springs Palace. I don't think I showed you guys this, but I did give them a dining room because they didn't have one before. So this is a little bit bold and I'm not actually even sure I'm gonna keep all of this, but it was just something I came up with on the spot. So that is their dining room. It looks very, very different from other dining rooms. And it's just got that whole, like, I'm pretty sure all these chairs and stuff come with the movie hangout pack stuff, but it's very like bohemian vibe, which I kind of felt like fit the style of the palace. No, not really. I'll probably change it, but I just wanted to show you guys that at least. So I did already schedule the, it's technically a funeral, but I am combining it with Naya's coronation ceremony. So we are going to have that at 8 a.m. So all the kids are not going to have to go to school and we get to see Lord Ajay, which is Prince Michael's son. So he is just hanging out. He's still a cute little toddler. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like to adult now. You will always be my baby or not until you've grown more. Let's try to bring up the responsibility. So not until you've grown more. So you guys can see Lord Ajay. He is super, super cute. He'll probably be a toddler for a little bit more time. But I also kind of remodeled the castle a little bit. So as you guys have seen in previous episodes, there was a gigantic pool here, but I kind of changed it into their like royal court sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but basically like, like the ballroom basically. So I was actually surprised that the dance floor was so small, but I'll probably add another dance floor to make it bigger. This is a King Adrian's urn. So I put that kind of in the center here. So the funeral is about to start in a few minutes. It is very dark in here and I don't know why. I, there was like so many lights in this house. I hopefully when it turns like 8 a.m. it might get a little bit brighter, but I don't know. It just seems like really dark and really blue for some reason but we do have oh queen Lindsay just became good friends with lord j oh okay good funeral is about to begin let's start technically the palace is like outside so they are they were in all of their cold weather outfits but now they're into their party outfits so i still have so uh, okay so I named Queen Lindsay, Queen Lindsay, the Queen Mother, and it's like the longest title ever. I named her Queen Mother because technically she is the Queen Regnant. So I think I looked that up and am pronouncing it correctly, but the Queen Regnant. So she is the one who's going to kind of be advising. Oh no, they all went to school. Wait, what? No, you guys have to leave school early. Come on. I swear, I, I thought that I would get the option for them to take a vacation day, but apparently not. So leave school early. Oh, I guess everyone comes in their formal outfits. I thought everyone would come in their party outfits, but I invited just like every single royal family. I actually might need to do a royal teen club gathering because I didn't have enough space to invite the teenagers. I know that we were supposed to get an update, but usually I'm allowed to, oh gosh, King Adrian. Hey, I heard of you became friends with Princess May. Okay, we're at your funeral but okay. Oh, and then Queen Nia just earned a pristine reputation, you guys. That's great because she's about to be coronated and become the Queen of Oasis Springs, so that's good. So as you guys saw in my last Create a Sim video slash makeover video, this is her new 
formal outfit and I love it so, so much, you guys. It is beautiful. But of course, she's like super, super sad, which is not a good thing. But oh gosh, okay. And then I need to change their formal outfits too. So we have King Mahaka of Sulani. I'm going to change your outfit because I think it's very, very cold here and you might want to be warmer. So we're going to change his outfit into his formal outfit. And then I have, I just invited Princess May and Prince Kellen into a teen club gathering. So they're not into their formal outfit. So I definitely want to make sure that there are changes to their formal outfits. I did not have time to like, I was not about to make all of the guests wear black. I feel like that would have just taken forever. So I'm glad I did not do that because that would have just taken way too long. Okay, so King or Prince Kellen, you can go ahead and change into your formal outfit too. So yes, I have invited all of the kings and queens of all of the kingdoms and I need to do a few things for the funeral. So we need to view the floral wreath. So this is a funeral. This is a mod, obviously, because it's not in game. So I will put this in the description below so you guys can download it if you want to. I have had funerals already in the past, but if you guys forgot, you guys can see. And then I created like a little throne room for Queen Nae because we didn't have one for this castle. So I just thought this was really, really cool. I would have preferred probably something a little bit different for the throne, but I feel like this is good for now. And I just made it look like I just feel, oh gosh, okay, take paid time off. I just feel like this is very, very like keeping with the whole style and culture of Oasis Spring. So I love it a lot. Oh, and I don't think you guys saw this, but this is Princess Belle's new formal outfit. I had just downloaded it like a few weeks ago. So I made it for her. I love it. It's so, so cute. I don't like that the dress is like clip onto everything pretty much like the floor and the stairs and everything but it's just so so beautiful it's such a gorgeous ball gown you guys i love it so much is she sick oh she must be sick. oh whoa whoa oh right okay oh i forgot prince francis had a romantic relationship with her i was like wait what their romantic relationship is actually really high let's do uh let's flirt i i mean his his father just died prince francisco's father just died but he he's not like too sad right now he has like like sad mood blitz but he's not actually sad he's actually very happy right now so i also want to change his name back to prince francisco because i didn't fit before so i'm going to change it back to his full name so i have the whole just like all the royal families here you guys which is kind of kind of cool so i'm going to have people start to mourn king oh you can call forth ghosts i didn't know you could do that let's strengthen his connection to the physical world i think we need to do that okay so i know you guys can't see this because my face cam's in the way oh we're already on a gold medal though but it doesn't, like, I, I guess my mod isn't working for the, like, I, I have a mod that lets it be, like, as much time as needed for events, and also I could, I'm usually allowed to invite as many people as possible. Maybe because it's a funeral mod, maybe I'll, like, try to pretend to, like, make another event and see if it's just, like, this mod specifically, or if the game updated it and I didn't know about it. Because I know that there is an update for the game, but I thought that hadn't come out yet. So I'll just have to double check that. But it looks like, oh, Princess Megan, you guys, she's she is very sad. She is very sad that her father passed away. So I'm going to have her strengthen his connection to the physical world. And then we are going to have Queen Nea sit on her throne for the first time, which is really, really cool. I wish uh, there's not really a way to like gather all the guests here, is there? I guess not. I guess, well, can you make, oh, oh, she can practice speech, but can she give a speech? Well, that would have been cool if she could give a speech as the queen. I want everyone to like come here and watch her. Are they wearing the same outfit? Prince Louis and Prince Jack. I thought I had made their outfits. Oh no, they are, they're, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, they're like basically the same. Yeah, they're the same. Oh, I probably should change that. Okay, well, I'll do that later. Also, I, I have the size of life mod and I guess sometimes they get dark circles. I don't know if that means because they're tired or what, but like, all of them have dark circles for some reason, and I want to delete that because it's kind of annoying and they all look really creepy and scary. So I'm probably going to just delete that out of my mods folder. Also, I did mention the last episode because some people were saying like they want me to just like put all of my custom content into a folder, but I can't do that because I, I think that the creators for all the custom content and stuff, they get credit and they get like paid. Some of them get paid for each click that they get and each time someone downloads something from the website of theirs. So I don't want to ruin the credit of the creator and I wouldn't want to like mess that up in any way. So I can't make a folder for you guys to download, 
but I can, I mean, I'll try to put everything into my Pinterest board. I'm about to get more time because the show that I'm in, we just opened, so that means I don't have rehearsals every night anymore, so I have like four free evenings out of the week now, so I will definitely try to work on doing that for you guys. I get all of my custom content from The Sims Resource pretty much, and I'm also a member on there, so I can like search for content on there too. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at Queen Nea giving her speech. She's now the queen pretty much. I wish there was like an actual coronation ceremony mod uh, that would be actually very very cool it would be so cool if you could like place a crown on their head but you definitely cannot do that so unfortunately no but guys look at her she's such a queen i love her so so i'm sorry it's being so laggy because i'm like taking so many screenshots of her right now but she is so so amazing and i'm in love with her outfit too so i guys love her so so much and then i did have her invite her boyfriend which is earl Philip, I don't actually see him yet. Maybe he went to school. I hope he didn't because I wanted him to be here for her, but it doesn't look like he was able to make it, unfortunately. Oh, I found him. Okay, Earl Philip is here. It looks like everyone is sitting down and eating cake, apparently. I guess we were serving cake that I didn't know about, but it looks like everyone is here. So we have Earl Philip of Brindleton Bay. They're so cute. I love them together, you guys. So he might be the future prince consort of Oasis Spring. So I'm very excited to see that. And then we have like Queen Maha, or not Queen Mahaka. Queen Lokalani of Sulani, we have King Mahaka of Sulani, and then we have Princess Belle and Queen Nina here too, so I'm so, so excited, you guys. I love this so much. It's beautiful. Like, look at this, you guys. Look at this gorgeous setup, and she's, I, she, I mean, she's practicing a speech, but I wish she could give, like, an inspirational speech here, but I don't know if you have to, like, get a better charisma level to do that or what. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to have her sit down in her throne, so she has given her speech, and now she's going to go sit. She's feeling very sad, though, guys, from her father passing away. I was, like, trying to figure out, like, should I even mix the funeral and the coronation ceremony together, but I don't know. I feel like it is fine to do that. Okay, so we have Queen Cora. Oh, she's Queen Cora saying hi to Lord and Jay. And then we have a Queen Ava who is doing the dishes right now. So that's nice of her, I guess. Um, and then we have King Henry here, of course. So we have everybody here, you guys. I do want Prince Francisco. It looks like he's a little bit too sad to flirt with Princess Belle right now, but maybe like a, a gloomy compliment. I feel like that's not going to go over well. Oh, the funeral was beautiful. We got a gold medal. You and the rest of the guests said goodbye to your loved ones with grace and dignity. Oh my gosh, you guys, everyone is, they're, they're crying. They're super, super sad. Of course, we have Queen Lindsay here though, and she's not that sad because as you guys know, we had King Adrian as not the most loyal husband in the world and things were not going well with them, that's for sure. So she, of course, she's sad, but I feel like she's not as sad as she probably could have been. So actually, none of the mistresses showed up to his funeral, which I'm actually surprised. I didn't invite them, but I would feel like someone would have come here. So, oh gosh, what is this? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this looks so weird. Stop. Oh my god, Princess Belle. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, it looks like she's like in this. Like, this looks so weird. Like, she looks, you know those cakes with, like, the Barbies in them that, like, the cake is actually their dress? That's what she kind of looks like right now. Okay, so it looks like everyone is actually feeling happy now. So I think that's because it's been, like, a good amount of time since King Adrian passed away. So, since he's feeling happier, I'm going to have Prince Francisco flirt with Princess Belle again because I want their relationship to flourish because it, it took a really long time for them to get romantic with each other so compliment her appearance maybe and i've always been doing it from like princess Belle's point of view not really from prince francisco's point of view so i feel like it's different now also prince james is still in his celebrity disguise you guys i feel like he needs to take this off i wish you could tell a sim to take off their celebrity disguise or to put one on but you can't, unfortunately. That'd be really cool, though, if that was part of the uh, MC Command Center mod. That would actually be really, really nice. Oh, we have Princess Megan and Prince Kellen here, you guys. She just kissed him on the cheek. That was really, really cute. I thought their romantic relationship was a lot higher than this. I really did. I really thought it was, like, much higher than that. And I don't know if it went down or if I'm just, like, not remembering it correctly. But maybe maybe it went down. I hope, I hope they're doing okay. We haven't paid too much attention to them since like the oh no oh god guys the romantic relationship just went down wait but they look fine i i swear i think that's really just a glitch sometimes it tells me that it's going down when it's really not because now it just went up and they seem fine so i think it's okay so i'm gonna have her blow him a kiss 
if you haven't gotten to pay attention to them as much as I would have liked to before. But, and then we also haven't really paid attention much to Princess Naya, or Queen Naya, now Queen Naya, and uh, what's his name? Oh, and Philip. So I think Philip actually did leave, but he was here at least to support her on her big, big day. So she kind of had everyone here, which was really, really nice. Oh, also, so I did want to explain the thing about, oh, someone's calling Lady Helena. Want to hang out with us today? We're having so much fun. Oh, I haven't really paid much attention to Lady Helena or gotten to know her much. I think we're gonna go, you guys. I I mean, uh, this might be a chance to actually meet some new Sims, so why don't we do this? I'm going to have her invite, though, like, all of the teenagers in her family so they can all come hang out with whoever her friend is that just invited them. I think her name is Lady Natalie, which I don't actually think you guys have met yet, but she is the daughter of one of the nobles in Oasis Springs, so we'll get to meet her, which is actually kind of cool. I was not actually expecting to do this, but the coronation ceremony is over. It was actually much quicker than I thought it was, um, but I feel like it was fine. I mean, now we have Nea, who is the queen, and she had everyone there to support her, and you guys got to see the newly kind of renovated palace. I didn't do much to it, but you guys got to see at least their like newly renovated ballroom and all that as well so we are now having a hangout session so this right here is lady i'm gonna pause this so you guys can see. oh she's taking a selfie right now with duck lips though um but we are going to see lady natalie so this is her so she let's see we can uh go to mc command center see who her parents are so her parents are the marquis and i need to change her mother's name to marchioness oh and it looks like i had to take out one of the s's on her father's name because i think his name might have been too long so i'll go back and change that since i now have the renaming mod so that is her parents so this is just like a new teenager we get to meet guys because we don't get to pay too much attention to the nobles and i would definitely like to a little bit more so i'm going to have everyone say hi to her do a friendly introduction and then we have earl philip here wait wait, wait at events oh oh at the event like in the city i wait what oh wait what event is this i'm very confused right now well Earl Phillips here, you guys, so we can go say hi to him, too. I'm gonna have her be a little bit romantic with him because she has not been able to be romantic with him in a while, so Naya is going to go talk to him. I feel like maybe we should just have, like, a teen hangout here because I think that that would be nice because we- they can all really meet Lady Natalie. I don't really know how to tie her into the game, but- she could be a possible marriage candidate for Prince Jack of Willow Creek, so that is a possibility. So, yeah, that's her. I don't remember too much about her personality. I guess we could, try, like, try to get to know her a little bit better. So, let's go ahead and can you do get to know? Get to know. There you go. So, they are all just hanging out right now. I think Princess Leilana should be here, too, because I did the teen club hangout. So, it looks like Queen Nina is also here, so it looks like a ton of people come here oh my gosh it looks like our sims joined a protest a protest so prince francisco is protesting and so is lady helena apparently what are they protesting why maybe they're like advertising the new queen that's that doesn't seem right i don't know why they're doing that okay so we have prince francisco and princess Belle. kind of they got away from everybody and now they're flirting with each other out here and just kind of like having a little bit of privacy which is really cute it has taken so long for them to become romantic with each other but it's actually like it's now a suggestive conversation and their romantic relationship is so so high now you guys so i think they haven't they haven't had their first kiss yet, but I think they are about to, and I'm really, really excited because it has taken a really long time for them to become boyfriend, or not, they're not even boyfriend or girlfriend yet, but just to become, like, more romantic with each other. And I feel like Prince Francisco might have just kind of been, like, like, I felt like he felt forced to be with Princess Belle, but then I feel like he kind of then realized that he does actually like her. So I think that he's, like, now realized that, and now they're feeling flirty. It's an armor exchange i think it's time for them to have their first kiss so i'm going to have him do that and i think he might also ask her to be his girlfriend if the kiss goes well so let's go ahead and do that okay they're having their first kiss you guys i'm so excited finally guys this seriously took it took so long for them to have the, oh wait oh wait why did he look really nervous after that i think he was just nervous which is fine but it looks like the kiss went well their romantic relationship went up so that's good so i'm going to now have him ask her to be his girlfriend you guys i'm so excited oh my gosh 
Finally! Like, this has taken so, so long, and it's finally happening between Belle and Francisco. So, I, I'm i very, like, I'll have to take a look at some of the noble households, because I think some of the noble households, like, might become, like, they might give up their title because of just, like, marriages and, like, matching people up. It didn't, like, always work out. So, I think some houses, like, noble houses might be empty. So, that could be good places for the princes and princesses to go to who are not inheriting the throne. Oh my gosh, they're romantic relationship is so high in there like oh gosh they're just kissing in in the middle of the this isn't a park what is this just in the middle of the city oh one thing i also did want to go over which i mentioned i would in my last video that i posted is why oh and she's right here why print oh no go that way <laughs> why princess amira is not the heir to the throne of windenburg and basically when i had started it was kind of easier for me to make like the multiple kingdoms and if like the royal family of windenburg for example let's just like so I'll do an example so with the royal family of Windenburg and the royal family of Oasis Springs if the boys were the heir to the throne then like whoever the daughter was of the other kingdom could then marry the heir to the throne of a different kingdom and then become their queen because that would be like their their choice was for a princess to become their queen and then that so it was just easier for me to have it that way plus obviously as you guys know in history it was a rule for the boys to inherit the throne so I just kept with that and my my idea was that King Henry is very, very old fashioned and him and his wife, his, his former wife, Queen Alice, thought that was like they were still going to follow kind of like that law of like the boy inheriting the throne. And then I kind of figured that Prince Kellen would be progressive oh, and would be, prog okay, you know, I can't follow the Sims right now, so I'm just going to leave it. So I thought that King, or Prince Kellen would be progressive and kind of make the law of no, the daughter's going to inherit the throne or whoever the oldest is going to er inherit the throne. So not just the boy. So I kind of thought that would be kind of Prince Kellen's thing. Like, I, I like that they each have like their own, just basically like something that they're known for. So he would be known as the first king of Windenburg who kind of made the rule of whoever's the oldest child would inherit the throne. So that's why I did that. Plus I did want Princess Amira to marry Prince Johan when I thought they were good together. So that might still be a possibility. So that's why, and I mean, just the fact that King Jared of Brindleton Bay didn't want Princess Amira to become the queen of Brindleton Bay, I feel like there's no way that King Henry is going to be like, yeah, yeah, you can have the throne now, unless Prince Kellen didn't feel like he was fit for it. And I feel like I can't just be like, okay, fine, Princess Amira, you're going to be there to the throne when I've been like planning Prince Kellen to be there to the throne. And I feel like Prince Kellen knows that it's not fair. And that's why he would want to make his oldest child become the heir to the throne, whether or not they are a boy or a girl. But I just wanted to explain that. I think that Princess Amira, like, I feel like she kind of has her own endeavors, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. If you really think that Princess Amira, if King Henry was suddenly like, okay, fine, Princess Amira, you're the heir to the throne. You guys can let me know that in the comments below, but I just don't think he would do that. And I feel like he would keep it as Prince Kellen and maybe Prince Kellen, maybe Prince Kellen would be be like I don't want to be the king and I think Amira should be the king maybe he could try to convince his father to do that but I kind of wanted him to be the one to make his oldest child to kind of just like change the rule of who becomes the heir to the throne so that's my reason for it sorry if that I was like trying to like like map this out of my brain I was like does this make sense uh to me it makes sense so you guys can let me know what you think so yeah guys I mean we got a good amount of things done in this episode we had the funeral for King Adrian and then we had Queen Nea's coronation ceremony. So she is now the queen of Oasis Springs. She's still a teenager and still having fun and hanging out with all the teenagers too. But I feel like pretty soon she's going to have to start getting pretty serious about everything and having to like learn all the ways to become a queen. So I think her mother is definitely going to try to work on that with her as well. So guys, I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this. We're definitely going to keep paying attention to some of the teenagers in the next episode. I'm also going to age up the twins of, uh, not always springs, of Windenburg, and we are going to age them up into toddlers, so we'll get to do that and see them as toddlers, and I'm so, so excited to see what they're going to look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!